Right, what is going on guys and welcome to our first flight of Virgin Galactic, the model that I have created here and I have to say it is looking pretty cool. Don't mind the blue fins, I haven't changed the colour of them things yet. But yeah, if you haven't seen the live stream where we built the actual capsule then go check that out. Um, but yeah, we've... I've created the rest of it. I've changed a couple of things. So this is the main thing. The main wing, carrier, whatever you want to call it. I know it looks a bit strange without with the canopies instead of windows. But that's the one real thing I do. Um, so yeah, I've also changed this design a little bit. I've put a gyroscope in. I've also made this a solid rocket booster. And straightened out the nozzle just to make things a little bit more stable when in flight so i think further ado let's get things started um what we'll do here is we will just start our main engines oops release the brakes i forgot about the brakes There we go, so we will, I'm using joystick today, I think what we'll do is we'll go on chase view and have like a nice aeroplane style view here. So we pull back, we should have enough speed to take off soon. Uh, there we go. It normally does take off a little bit sooner than that, but never mind. So, it, the the max speed of this craft is about 300 meters per second. Um, so, yeah, we've just got to gain altitude here, really. What I'm going to do, because I've not tried landing this back on the runway, I'm going to go off to the left a little bit, try and swing around in a big loop, gain height, and speed it's mostly just for height that we need uh, we need the carrier so we're going to do that we're going to try and gain some height but while also trying to go around to the launch site runway so i'm just going to go back to this view just to make things easier but look at this look how cool it looks from underneath it looks pretty damn good doesn't it I am pleased with how this turned out. So yeah, obviously you can't control both crafts at the same time unless you use scripts and that would be really difficult to do scripts to make this sort of craft. But yeah, I mean... Um, we're just going to do a quick save and come back and fly the launcher on its own. I haven't actually tried to fly it on its own to be honest. Um, I know it should fly. Whether or not it does is another question. Right, I want to get to at least 2, uh, 10,000 meters height before we do launch the main capsule. I know it would probably just go higher, but that means we've got to wait around all day. <laughs> And uh don't really want to do that, do we? So let's turn around to face the launch site. We turn around to face the launch site here. Let's also still keep our hike in that would be nice whoa i've uh, started banking over a little bit too much but it doesn't matter this is not realistic it is a game <laughs> i think that'll do we can always come back and glide to the runway right so let's have this up a little bit Go a little bit higher. We'll probably go a lot higher, but like I say, 
Our thrust, our engine thrust is dropping faster anyway, so about 10,000 meters is probably best. I'm going to quick save here. Then what I want to do is actually current hidden. I want to use this to control it rather than the joystick. Just hopefully keep things sturdy. We're going to go in slow motion here. Drop the capsule nose down just to get out the way of the capsule. And we're going to go for a level flight here. Oh, 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 yeah. Get out of the way. That's it. Whoa! What? How did that hit it? I don't know. Do you think we can still go for it here? So, yes, we are going to try and go for the desert base as our target destination. So, let's get started here. <coughs> Start off our carrier. Brilliant stuff. Look at them, them um, starships in the background all landed on the save. And hopefully we can bring this back to the this base here as well. That would be nice. Start going off towards that kind of direction just so we are aligned inclination wise. Awesome stuff, that looks good. It's so much better using a joystick in this game when you're flying planes. So much better. So we'll get to our magic 10,000 meters up and then we'll disconnect. Fly this bad boy space. Right, we're coming up on our magical 10,000 meters now, ready to release the main craft. What we'll do, we'll slow it down to slow speed. We're going to do a quick save so we can take the launcher back. And then we are going to raise it up. Let go. Drop this down. Get that out of the way. There we go. Get level flight. Out of the way of the launcher. That's it. And then fire. We want level flight for a little bit. We'll go back to normal speed. And then we can start raising it up. about pitch 70 70 degrees will be fine I imagine and there we go five percent 173 kilometers this time so we'll get our feather going to do our backflip. Look at that. Look at that. Awesome stuff. And look how close we are going to get to the base already. That is absolutely brilliant. And these guys are getting way longer in space. These are getting... What are we till we get up there? These are getting a good five, ten minutes. Yeah, 
Here we go. Oh. Normal speed here. Gonna feather it down a little bit just so we can get our nose straight still. There's the base. Look at that. I've never been to this base before. We'll feather it down just a little bit more. We're starting to. Let's try and fight this. Oops, get off. I don't want to lock. I don't want to even see that ring. Get our feather back up to control this thing. There we go. Okay, let's just bring it down. Hopefully that'll give us control back. We're only 16,000 meters now. That's fine. <laughs> it's a bit of a rocky entrance. There we go. We are fully in control again. That is what we want. And there's the runway over there. Right, and we will time warp a little bit. Till we get a bit closer. We'll come around this way through that gap in the in the canyon there. Do we quick save? I can't remember if we quick saved. Here we go. around right we'll go for one time speed now we can go ahead and activate our landing gear which is number four just so it's separate from the main launcher we'll go into oh cinematic camera looks great there we'll go into chase camp so we can land this thing nicely Nicely on the centre line of the runway. Oh, we're dropping a bit too much speed. Look at this, through the canyon pass. Now, how perfect did I work that so that it actually comes to this base? That's brilliant. More or less brilliant. can't exactly taxi itself off the runway though unfortunately since there's no propulsion left and no nose wheel steering so that's another thing I've also took out the roll controls in the wings I put them on the so we've got elevons and also the rudder slightly controls roll just to help stabilize when we're in the thinner part of the the atmosphere and over a little bit there we go bringing it in nicely a nice soft landing look at that bang on the center line as well Let's get full brakes. Can you get any better than that landing? <laughs> I'm really pleased with that landing. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. Right, let's go back and get the launcher, shall we? See how that controls. Pitch up. Drop. Pitch down. And we'll, what we'll do, we'll power on just for a screenshot here. Right, we'll ditch this. That needs to go down and not hit the carrier. 
down, 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 right. Right, command chip on here. Right, we can fly this now. There we go. So we'll bring this back around. Hopefully we can actually get this thing flying. It's got so much lift, it should be fine. I imagine. It should make it all the way back. I'm pulling all the way back on the stick though. There we go. There we go. Where's the launch site? Over there? Oh, it's over there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so this thing actually flies on its own as well. So that is brilliant. That is good to know. Right, here we go. We are coming back to the launch site. Let's slow it down a little bit. We'll go into chase view so we'll get a good landing, just like the actual capsule itself. God, this thing is fast when it's unloaded. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get as good landing as we did with the capsule. I hope. I hope this is a long enough runway. The other one is a little bit longer, I think. Let's get our landing gear down. We want to come down. There we go. Uh, it's loading in all them rockets that we've got lying around. I really need to get rid of them. I know I keep saying that, but I do. I think we might have to go a little bit faster just to um just to compensate for obviously the design of the plane we're gonna have to put some speed on. Whoa, what is that in there? Not at sea level. <laughs> There we go, slow it down again. Uh, come on, hit the runway, hit the runway. Oh, come on, that's it, that's it. There we go, and we're down. Let's get a um, brakes on that. Whoa, let's pull the tail back just to keep it on the ground. At least with this as well, we've got our rudders to con... Oh, we did have rudder to control it. Oh. Well, I think that's a success. I think that's a great success. Let's shut down the engines. There we go. Look at that, absolutely brilliant. Right, guys, if you did enjoy this one, please do leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.